Hello friends. Check this out. That's all from today. Let's get this framed up beautifully. I met up with Dave, viewer and friend Dave, and we hit a bunch of stuff. So without further ado, here is clothing that you can sell on eBay for money. We'll get to the bag sale last. I was just talking about Kirkland Signature. This is obviously Costco, and you would think it wouldn't be worth any money. However, this is blurry. It's 90% wool, 10% cashmere, and it's a men's jacket, size large, really good condition. Got it for eight bucks. There's one of these sold for about 35 right now, and there's one listed that I think was at 28. I'll probably list this one around 30, ship it out. Um, okay, here is a new with tags, scrub top, women's scrub top, extra small, there's the tag. Got it for half off, so this was 250. And this brand has like 3x sell through. I've never seen it before, but I ran the numbers. There it is. Bonobos, just a basic bonobo shirt. Got this for five bucks. I really like selling bonobo shirts. Um, I've never had trouble selling them. They're just good, consistent, fast sellers. This is a Dodgers official. Jersey shirt in the Lakers colors. Got this for seven bucks. Didn't look it up, but safe money right there. This is a new with tags, Levi's plaid flannel button down shirt. Got it for six bucks. This will probably sell for around 25. Plaid flannels are great. They are going out of season, but I still buy them, clearly. This is not a very good brand, Aeropostale, Aeropostale, however you pronounce it, but look at the pattern. This will sell it. The keywords here are geometric, Aztec, Southwestern, plaid flannel, maybe twill in there as well. Here's another Bonobos. I won't bother showing you the tag. It's the same as the other one. This is called Gingham Plaid, G-I-N-G-H-A-M, Plaid. Vineyard Vines, great brand, I don't find that much. Five bucks, polo shirt, why not? Nat Nast, solid seller, not 100% sell through, but I was feeling Pretty generous with my wallet today. This is a 2XL, so it's a great size, and I got it for five bucks. It would be nice if every thrift store stapled their uh, price tags to the material tag inside. It would actually be uh, less of a liability. Bad brand, St. John's Bay is not good. Not recommended, but it is new with tags. And it was six bucks. I didn't look these up, but it's such a big brand. There is undoubtedly demand for it. New with tags, and it'll probably sell for like 20. Got these for eight bucks. These are a rare colorway of the Nike Air Maxes. Not a big sneaker guy, but these are selling new for a hundred bucks, 120 bucks, way more. It's like 600% sell through on these. They have scum on them. I might be able to clean them up. Probably not. Clean them up a little bit. These are probably 60, 80 bucks. I don't know. Here is a Wrangler Pearl Snap shirt. Uh, the guy I was hanging out with, Dave, sells a lot of Pearl Snap shirts and uh, 
it's funny, I, I walked up to him and I was like, here, you like selling Pearl Snap shirts, right? Rang with Pearl Snaps and then I handed him one and he was like, I actually donated that specific shirt because it wasn't selling on eBay. So I still picked this one up um, as someone who also tends to shy away from Wrangler stuff unless it's denim or vintage because of that pattern, that all over geometric abstract pattern. Those are the two keywords that you want, geometric and abstract. Those are great keywords. And it's an, an XL, I got it for five bucks. Um, I think that should sell for probably 20, 25 as everything does. Didn't look this one up, it's Saks Fifth Avenue, which really isn't a brand that I like, but this is 100% linen. And I really like the color, the teal color. It was four bucks. So I figured I'd take the risk. This is just a real basic J. Crew Oxford shirt. I'm also going to list this as a plaid flannel because it has that feel to it. It's like thick fabric. J. Crew stuff, just real basic J. Crew shirts with a little bit of something to them. The plaid, the flannel, the Oxford. Something that's not just a straight poplin shirt will all sell. Almost universally, they are worth 20 bucks and have demand for them. This, I've had so many near misses with this brand. I think this is actually the first thing that I bought from Rule in like two years because they all always have stains on them or holes in them. I don't remember which mall brand this is attached to. I think it's, um, I don't remember. I don't remember. This is some kind of mall brand, but this is a, a fancier line of shirts and they have really good sell through. And this was, I think these were on sale actually. So this is less than four. I don't remember what the discount was. And here's one that I had previously looked up and never pulled the trigger on. Girbo. I know academically that these are worth money, but I've never sold it before. So I got it for two ninety five minus however much the discount was, and it's just kind of a basic button down shirt, but it's in a good size. It's well, it's a large. It's more like an XL. Curious about that one. And then the bag sale. I got three bags, five bucks each. And I got there right before they brought out two giant plastic tubs full of new stuff and dumped it on the table. And it was just, it was beautiful. It was great. So these are this, the rest of this, if I sell one or two of these, it's paid for. This is basically free merchandise. I think this is a tie in with some kind of TV show. I don't know. It's like a red, dress. A lot of this I'm just going to end up throwing out because I have to research it. I didn't look any of it up. I just grabbed and went. This is a pair of Old Navy pants in a very large size. Large sizes in pants, like large sizes in shirts, have higher sell-through and higher prices. Just some um, basic chinos, some slacks. Here's an unfamiliar brand. Who knows, most of this stuff, if I do list it, it's gonna be listed at 9.97 with best offer. I'll just take anything down to like seven, eight bucks. And it's essentially free money, as I said. Brand is Pearl, don't know it. Camo blouse. And these, these small women's pieces are great at bag sales and active wear shirts, shorts, stuff like that. Cause you can, they're truly free. You can just wedge them into the bag. They don't take up any extra space at all. It's truly free merchandise. Here's a new with tags, women's vans, t-shirt or girls vans. I think that's a women's small. And just to be clear, this is not stuff that I would buy for full price if I if I was buying this piecemeal at full thrift store prices. This is purely just just um, because it is cheap. This is Miley Cyrus. It's a plaid flannel. I don't think Miley Cyrus stuff is worth that much, but 
you know, plaid flannel, 10 bucks. That's very possible. A pair of floral denim jeans, jean shorts from City Streets. I've seen that tag before. I don't know the significance, if any. This is from The Mountain. It's a Pitbull apologist shirt. This is a bunch of uh, misinformation about pit bulls being uh, cool and not dangerous. And from the mountain, XL. Teen Bell. Basic open front cardigan. Could be nothing. Poof. I think this is meant to look like free people. It's like a, it's like a sweater, similar to a sweater. This is a Vans hoodie. Just the basic uh, Vans hoodie. I think it's a women's, women's medium. Nothing special here, you know, 10, 15 bucks. Still light enough to ship first class. Just a pair of active wear bottoms, yoga pants, flare leg. I think these are Dan skins. Yes, they are Dan skin now. These sell for not very much money, but last time I checked a few months ago, these had close to 100% sell through. This is a, a knitted hat for the Patriots, right? Old Navy. It's Old Navy. Pants. Is this worth money? Only time will tell. Who's to say? Most of this women's stuff, I've never seen the tags before. This is like a dress. It's like a dress. Here's a Forever 21 women's cutoff, I don't know, crop top, hoodie, sweater. There's a bunch of Forever 21 stuff there I didn't pick up because it was Forever 21 is true, truly valueless. Disney, this is a sheer Minnie Mouse shirt, women's small. 9.97 best offer. Seven for all mankind, jean shorts, women's jean, not my hair, there, jean shorts. Ninety degree yoga pants. The nine ninety seven best offer. Some shit to do with donuts and weightlifting. What a hilarious juxtaposition of opposites. Another Forever Twenty One pair of pants with the tag. New, it's like black pants, really lightweight with a fake leather belt. Basic NFL t-shirt, official NFL, it's a men's large.
Just stare into my creepy eyes. God <laughs> damn it. It says caution to the wind. That's the brand. Here's a Defense Logistics Agency Wings Collection for if you are an airplane. Hell yes. 2XL Under Armour t-shirt. This is probably more than 997 best offer. Maybe even maybe even 1299 best offer. Another one. 2XL. I will not lot these up. I will sell these individually. Cuz they sell faster that way. In my experience, Jerry shorts. Men's size 40. Great size, good shorts. I very rarely buy Jerry because they're just not worth as much as something like a Patagonia. But, oh, there we go. Never mind, that was the gap. Here's a vintage men's knit Charlie Sheen shirt. That's the brand. Maybe listed as a bowling shirt. Here's a youth large. I think this is a boys large polo shirt from Nautica. I'm thinking 997 with best offer for that one. I'm gonna show you my death pile at the end of this. It is prodigious. Basic Adidas. I think this is a dry fit. Or is that Nike? That's Nike. Just basic Adidas active wear t-shirt for men. Here's a Peter Millar polo shirt. And this has got the San Diego Rich Guy Club. San Diego Country Club emblem on it. Could be a 997 with best offer or Here's a full set of scrubs. I think these are Cherokee. Yeah, Cherokee. These are like a women's large. How about you look at the tag, Matt? Yep, uh, authentic workwear. Cherokee women's large. Scrubs sell real well. I don't know what it is about scrubs, but never have any trouble selling them. The scrub top from the black one with new tags from like yesterday is already sold. Uh, um, Nightmare Before Christmas, women's medium. This might be 997 the best offer, we'll see. This is a weird one. This is a red cap, not a good brand. This is just like standard workwear, but this is something people might bite, uh, bite, buy for comedy value. It's bathroom attendant and it says swinger on it. So some rockabilly guy might get this as a gag. They might get it for 15.97 or a best offer. Adidas. XL polo shirt and it's got something on the sleeve there it's got like a little oh I think this is the Hotel Del I think that's the Hotel 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 Del Coronado yeah the camera wants to focus on my ear that's definitely what I want there we go I think that's the roof of the Hotel Del Coronado okay cool cool Okay, and then Dave was nice enough to give me a bag of a bag of stuff to sell. Might as well go through that too. Here we go. This is 
apparently a good brand. This is a mohair vest that might be worth some high amount of money. It is pretty hallucinatory. Here's an American needle hat, trucker hat. Cool, not familiar with that. Here is a hat from, it's a starter hat from the, the NRAMs. You know the NRAMs? Oh, uh, this is a weed hat. Love weed. Nissan. I can't, cannot believe that he gave me this one. It's a Chargers hat covered in autographs, presumably from Chargers. Who's that? Who are these people? Which Chargers are they? Really generous of him to give me all this stuff. Here's a pair of Paige jeans. I have pretty spotty luck when it comes to Paige. But uh, maybe these are nicer. Here is Josephine Chaos. The Chaos Josephine has given us an all over floral blouse. Not familiar with her. This is cool. The Gaylord. That is great. Look at that. What a cool shirt. That's a women's, right? Yeah, it's a women's. Oh, sweet. Last piece. Really thick, heavy Ted Baker shirt. Shirt specialist. Yeah, wow. This is great. It's got that like luminescent metallic finish to it. It's really heavy duty. Cool. Thank you, Dave. Look at this. I have to list all of that. And I'm going back to the bag sale tomorrow. So, goodbye.